to get to work! Faye said these bastards made some kind of asset they're using it as a weapon. So, find where they're making this garbage and shut it all down. Owen, what's the plan here? Picking up loads of scars nearby. Take a look around the area, but uh, be careful. Right. Checking out the scar camp some more. Weapons! Oh, and the, and the turrets! Better move quickly. There's a shaker relic. Wait, something's odd. Get a closer look, would you? See those radiant pieces of energy? They're echoes from the Anthem of Creation. Loads of scars nearby. Be careful. Turn them to the relic. You've got to silence it fast. It's gone silent. Disaster averted. Do you think we get a bonus for... Wait, something's happening. What the hell was that? I think... That was whatever laid all the eggs around here. The sound came from below your position. On the plus side, this definitely counts toward hazard pay. There's a trail of this acid gunk leading down. Follow it, and we should find the source. vanished and left our world in chaos creating altering destroying the anthem is all that remains there's a storm coming these walls can't protect us forever Destroy us all. 
I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Listen, there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe... Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? We're just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced and all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right, let's see what's up here. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Uh, I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. Him. <laughs> yeah, he could use the XP. Hello, treasure. I think we 
got some action up ahead. Anyone? Anyone? We're under attack. Anyone in the area? We're under attack. I think that's part of Craxley's mission. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. I have time to use that mortar. <laughs> Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. <laughs> oh, come on. Be something good. Oh, yes! Jer's Wrath. Oh, nice. Large scale world events like Shaper Stories are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay. Actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Whoa. This storm is getting crazy. What are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. Diluted because you're mixing multiplayer and storytelling into the same areas. Now, you can build a solution to that, but you have to really build it into the core of the game. And that's what we've tried to do with, with Anthem. It's what we call our world, my story. So when you're out in the open world, the world is really dangerous, and you're focused on your mission. And this is where other players get to play with you. The thing that's really interesting about this, it's unique for, uh, for Anthem, is that this is a living, shared world. So whether there's weather, or uh, it's nighttime. What we're experiencing, we're experiencing together. Everyone that's playing Anthem at a, at, a, at a moment is seeing the same thing. And this is what we mean when we talk about our world. It's a, it's a shared world that we all experience together. But then when I finish my mission, I come back to a base like Fort Tarsus. And this is a single player experience. I turn in my, my uh, rewards, I talk to some characters, I experience the choices of my action. And this is where your story really lives and breathes. And by doing it this way, we are, we're able to combine that impact. Want more story. And so we've designed Anthem in a way that we can actually add more story for years to come. And it could be anything. A new moment with a character that you've grown to love, or uh, an event in the world that uh, deepens the lore, or uh, an entirely new storyline and plot. Well, I'm certainly not going to complain about more story. I don't think anybody out there is going to either. Devs, the designers, the artists, is that we're creating something new and mysterious for players to discover. So at the heart of the premise of Anthem is a world left unfinished by the gods. But the gods left behind their massive tools. And those tools are in constant conflict with this unknowable force called the anthem of creation. And the chaos of those things pushing against each other um, means that the world is constantly being reshaped in new and unpredictable ways. Yeah, violent storms, mutated creatures, gigantic monsters. It's a dangerous environment that you need to wear a suit of powered armor, a javelin, to, uh, to be safe in. Now, something I think a lot of players out there maybe don't stop to think about is just how much work goes into creating a new intellectual property or IP, as we've been saying. Now, you know, we've seen all these different creatures, and Mark, you mentioned the storms. 
What's the process of creating a game like from scratch? And even the technology and the politics of, of our new world. And then from there, we can actually go and build out every last detail. Yeah, and one of the uh, unique challenges for Anthem is that it's a world, an experience that's meant to feel alive, like it's happening uh, right now. And so the world is always changing, um, weather, the uh, storms, uh, seasons. And um, yeah, it's a really great concept to write for because what it means is it gives us the opportunity to drop into the world, almost in real time, a dramatic event that changes the world for everyone. And that could be anything from gameplay to lore. I mean, the, all of the moving parts in the dynamic world sound really cool the way that they sound like they're going to come together. But even though there's obviously a lot going on, it really all comes back to your character. So let's talk about who we're going to be playing as and why we're fighting these crazy beasts. So you are a freelancer, uniquely skilled to pilot these, exo, ja, these javelin exo suits. And uh, you need those suits to survive and fight in this world because the world will kill you. Um, but on top of that, uh, our ancient rivals, the Dominion, have uh, unique abilities. There's the Ranger, and then there's the Colossus, the Interceptor, and finally, the Storm. Yeah, so uh, each javelin gives you a different way to play the game. Uh, but the thing to remember is, like Kathleen said, you're not your suit. You are a freelancer, a pilot, which means you can decide which suit you want to use based on your mood, based on the mission you want to engage in, or the, or the javelins that your friends are using. Um, so really what this allows us to do is we've built the suits to look like they're built from the materials of the world. Uh, so they each have their own unique abilities. So let's take a look at uh, the Ranger now. The Ranger is a more generalized suit, uh, able to, uh, to do a lot of different things, uh, use, really designed for up close and personal combat, one-on-one uh, -on -one for the most part. The Colossus is heavier, more specialized, but able to really pack in big weapons that let them devastate the battlefield. To express himself, both through customizing the way their, their uh, javelin plays through gear and uh, weapons, but also being able to personalize the way that it looks, uh, both through paint jobs as well as changing the actual uh, geometry of the suit itself. We want teams to be able to do this as well. Mm. And because you're going to be using a javelin for a long period of time, we really want you to be able to make it your own. Um, you want to get a few people together of different classes. So, you know, I think here we're going to see the, the Colossus, you know, just hammering people on the ground in gameplay, if we can have a look at that. So, heavy artillery, being really strong, you know, in melee combat. And then here you've got the ranger shooting down from above. And then they're using com you know, combos and special abilities and stuff like that. But what I love is you don't just run around, you're swimming and flying as well. The, uh, the impact of having your own personal story with the fun of playing with other players. But we really want to make sure that, uh, that playing with other people feels like a choice. So for people that want to just experience the story, we're, you're going to be able to do that. Now, going out into an open world like this uh, by yourself is going to be a little bit more challenging than, uh, than if the team of four people. And we've really tried to balance the co-op experience to be fun even for people that don't normally engage in this kind of thing. So I really hope that everyone at least gives co-op a try.